Heading into her 30th season on the staff for the Penn State field hockey team, Lisa Bravinchak love is the new head coach of the Penn State field hockey team. Coach, congratulations. What was your reaction when you heard the news? Um, I'm going to be quite honest with you. It was shock um, because, you know, obviously, you know, Char has been here 36 years and my initial reaction was total shock. And I think everyone's pretty surprised that it came as a surprise to me, you know, being with her for 29 years. And then there was sadness, you know, because obviously, um, you know, just the thought of not sharing the sideline with her was emotional and sad because we have so many incredible memories. Um, you know, then excitement, obviously, because super excited for the opportunity and super, super grateful for the opportunity as well. Well, your relationship with Char, who you just talked about, dates mm -hmm. all the way back to when you were a student athlete on right. campus. What type of impact has she made on you? Well, she made an incredible impact on me just as a player and then just personally in the last 29 years. I mean, Char, um, she's just an incredible person. She just truly cares about you as an individual and she was involved in every aspect of your life. She was just always an easy person to talk to and, um, you know, just like these past 29 years as a coach, she's always been so, so supportive because, you know, I am, you know, I have two kids, so I was raising a family as well as coaching and she was just always supportive in that role and just knowing, like, you know, if I had to do something with the kids, she's like, you know, go, go spend time with your kids. And you know, like personally, she's my oldest daughter's godmother, so she's yeah. she's actually more like family. You know what I mean? So like, it's just you know, it's evolved from being a player to um, you know her assistant coach, and then just lifelong friends and family. So um, you know, she's had an impact on so many people. Which you know, it, when you think of the last 36 years, it's incredible on so many young women. So there's so much tradition and history with this program, and Shar's fingerprints are all over it. That said, you're now the head coach. Mm -hmm. What can we expect from your fingerprints on the program as well now? Well, first, I just want to say, like, you know, Shar came in and she um, set the tone right away. Just like the value of working hard every day, playing with heart, um, just being a good teammate. And those are lessons that I have learned from her and, I, and stuff that I believe in myself. I, say, I think over the last 29 years, something um, that made Shar and I work is that we both we had the same beliefs. We had the same the goals, you know, and I think we come from big family, so fa the family atmosphere. So. Penn State field hockey is in a great place. I don't really need to change a lot. You know, obviously, you know, um, when you think about it, you know, I'm just going to still coach like LB. You know, everyone's <laughs> like, how do you replace a Charmorette? You know, you don't, you don't replace a Charmorette Curtis. I'm going to be coach LB still. You know, like I lead with, you know, passion like Char did. You know, I lead uh, uh, compassion, empathy, and then just hold them accountable as well. But I think it's just, you know, they, they've learned, it's instilled in all of us. You come to practice, you work hard, you compete, you get better, and you have fun doing it. So I think that's um, something that will definitely not change at Penn State. And you know, and as, as you know, these next few weeks go on, you know, hopefully we'll find my, my head coaching voice. What have the first couple of days, the first week been like for you as the head coach? Um, overwhelming at times. <laughs> There's a lot of little stuff going on. But I have to say, you know, like the team was told Wednesday of last week, and then on Thursday we had a morning practice. So. Um, you know, they obviously were a little surprised and shocked, but I, I have to give them credit. They came out, you know, we had a little team talk, and then um, they worked hard. You know, we just had a regular practice, and I think um, this week was our first 20-hour full week, so, you know, the, the team came out and they practiced hard, and I, I think we're in a good place. I think, you know, obviously with change, you know, there's always their challenges. However, um, I think this is a unique situation. You know, I've been here 29 years, so um, you know, I know the core values of Penn State field hockey. I know the type of athlete we recruit, and there's just been consistency with me and Shar. You know, the last few years. So I think the consistency hopefully helps with that transition and gives them some comfort. Penn State field hockey has obviously played a very important part in shaping who you are, but also your family has as well. Mm -hmm. Your entire family has gravitated towards coaching. Yes. Why is that? Well, I think you know I'm one of six, and I have three brothers and two sisters. And I think we were just um, we drew grew up always playing sports or just playing outside. You know, you know I hate to age myself, but it was always a different time. You know, like we grew up in a great um, neighborhood where there was always some activity going on. Like my dad used to like just out in our street in front of us. He would like the whole neighborhood would come and we would just race and he would time us. You know, because there was always competition. So I think. We just grew up competing and loving sports, you know, because we six of us, that's the thing that entertained us the most. I mean, we were competitive playing board games, you know what I mean? So I think um, just we always had the love of the sport and we just um, enjoy um, just being with other people and having fun with the game. You talk about love of a sport and a love for Penn State, no pun intended right, here, yeah, yeah, but yeah. why yeah. is there so much Penn State pride and what does this opportunity mean to you to wrap this up? You know, it's an incredible opportunity and I just think, I'm just very blessed that I'm in this position and um, you know I'm passionate about Penn State, I'm passionate about field hockey and I, I think it, it's a gift you know on, honestly I think it look at it as, as a gift 
I'm very fortunate that I grew up playing sports and playing a game that I love and then can continue to coach the sport. So I think, you know, just embrace the moment and cherish the moment and do the best I can for the team. Well, LB, we stand out here on the field. There are constructions underway for the Penn State Field Hockey Complex. As you said, it's a great time for mm -hmm. Penn State Field Hockey. Congratulations and thanks so All much. Right, thank you.